Hey guys, happy new year! I just want to pop in for another recap vlog of this past year. I think this might actually become a thing. This might be a thing. I think this is year two. Anyway, um, this has been a huge year and a, a lot has happened. Uh, I want to start with bringing you up to speed on something that I started last year. Last year? Last year? I don't know. It's, it's taken a year and a half to do this. And I can officially say, as of December of 2021, that I am now an illustrator. <laughs> I am officially a published illustrator. I was able to write my kid, my, I was able to write book two in The Adventures of Everest the Elephant. Write the book edit it, do all the sketches, the character designing. Um, <laughs> there was so much that it took to do this. Uh, there was layout design, sketching, inking. I, I had to learn how to digital paint. I learned how, like I, I literally took two courses last, like, like this past uh, year and a half. Um, I learned how to digital paint. I learned character design. It, it's just, it's, uh, I'm a, com I am a, a wildly different person than like two years ago. This is really crazy. So I, I literally just a couple weeks ago got my, my second book out published. So this is my kid's book. Um, the first one was Everest Goes to Space. The second one is Everest Goes to Africa. And these all revolve around learning about different careers or jobs that are out there, like things that you could be doing. And they're things that as a kid, I never thought those were jobs. I didn't, I didn't think like you could go and do these things. And, you know, even as a five-year-old, I was a really, really serious kid. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just, this is, mm, I'm so excited. If you go on Amazon and search for Tiffy McKay, you will find me. I'm like, ta-da, it's happened. <sighs> so that was a huge accomplishment. Oh, and we got two translations out too. So it's, you can find it in English, you can find it en espanol, and you can find it in, en français. Um, so there's French and Spanish also up there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, there are, there's like three major things that happened this year. So that was one. Number two, number two, um, my husband, my husband, Matthew, um, he, he proposed that him and I, no, I mean, he proposed like over a decade ago too, but, but, or did he? No, I think he just kind of slid the ring across the sea. And wait, 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 I'm getting sidetracked. I'm getting sidetracked. Okay. Um, he suggested that the two of us start a Twitch channel together because he's always wanted to stream and I've kind of wanted to stream, but neither one of us wanted to do this by ourselves. And he suggested we try doing it as a co-streaming duo. And I was like, Hmm, that could work. Like, I won't be alone doing this then. And he was like, yeah, same. He was like, well, let's, let's look into this. And, and we did, he, he did a crazy deep dive of how to, how, how to get started. And, um, you know, he, and he's like, we, we, we found out a couple of years ago that he's, uh, he's on the spectrum <laughs> and, so when he does a deep dive of research, like it's, it's crazy, crazy deep dive. Like he knows things about how all this works that like I never would have imagined. And now they're kind of becoming innate and like just, <laughs> he just does them. Um, and I'm kind of just absorbing them as we go. Uh, but yeah, so I'm a Twitch streamer now and we're at the point where we've built enough of an audience that like, this is what we're doing now. Like, this is it. This is what we're doing. Like we're doing other things too, but like, this is our main bread and butter now. And we're like, 
it's not like live livable yet but it it can be and we're close to that and so we're we're going full ham on that we're going in fact we're going so full ham that we just finished the preparation for a subathon <laughs> And it is our, our first subathon. Um, we've been we've been streaming for I want to say I don't, we started in February um, of 2021, and yeah, this is this is our first subathon we're doing. Um, we were just kind of building a community. We ended up finding our niche. Um, ah, it's I'm so excited. What you see behind me. That's what we're using now. Like we were green screening for a while and we, we just recently set this up. And um, yeah, but we, we're doing our first subathon and it's uncapped. There is no cap. If you wanna come and watch uh, me and him live hang out, he doesn't use a camera, so it's mostly just me. <laughs> um, but we've, we're, we're like making him avatars and things like that now too and I'm just, I'm so freaking excited. I'm excited because this year marked so many getting out of my comfort zones, um, doing things that I wouldn't normally do, uh, streaming, like, like, like seriously streaming like this was not one of them, um, particularly live because I like being able to video edit and due to time, I'm actually not going to video edit this one too. Um, <laughs> this, this is just, this is, this is it. This is me and all my, my tiffiness. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm so excited. Um, we are starting our subathon uh, tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So this video is going out at like 7 p.m., I think. I think it'll be scheduled for 7 p.m. We'll be on live in an hour um, on twitch.tv slash McKay's Play, because there are two of us, two McKay's, and we tend to play a lot of video games, um, but the video games are really just something to do in the background until we, we end up on like a fun like discussion about like neurodiversity and things, which leads me to the third major thing that happened this year. I have been learning a lot about neurodiversity, about um, the spectrum, uh, which is uh, the autistic spectrum. Um, I've been learning a lot about ADHD. Um, I even learned how to watch videos on TikTok. <laughs> like, I feel like Grandma Tiffy has advanced another level. <laughs> um, and in, in learning about neurodiversity, in, and this is a lot of what we talk about on our, our, our live channel. Um, in learning about all these things, so many things hit so close to home that I was just like, after like, I don't know, several months in, right in the middle of the year, I was like, you know what? I think I might need to take like a, like a little self-assessment specifically for adults who may or may not have ADHD. <laughs> and the assessment results were like, yeah, you probably maybe definitely have this. Um, and I don't know why it took me so long to be okay with the idea that I might have ADHD. Um, this is, this is in part a result of like the generation that I grew up in. I'm like very early millennial, um, almost in the, the previous generation. And there was a lot of stigma, um, growing up that like, being labeled with something like this was like, it was bad. It was seen as bad. And I've come to learn over this past year that not only is it not bad, it's not necessarily bad or good, it's just what it is. But the fact that you can go and learn about it and talk to other people who have it or deal with it or other people who have, you know, know enough about it, um, 
that you can actually, like, life can get better. Like, life can get a little bit easier. Maybe not easy, but, like, life is just never going to be easy, per se. But that kind of, I feel like that applies to everyone. You know, but for different reasons. <laughs> um, but a lot of the things that I struggled with, I had no idea that they were related to ADHD. No idea. I mean, how many people out there? I'm 37, guys. I'm 37 and just found out that I probably definitely have ADHD. Um, like, that's a very long time to be struggling and not know why you're struggling. Like, and that's kind of really important to a lot of people who have ADHD. If we know why something is happening, then we tend to be at least a little bit better at handling, navigating it. Like, so those are the three big things that happened this year. I published my, I, I published another book. Um, I, well, and, and became an illustrator. Um, I'm, I'm actually diving more and more into my artistic side. Um, this is a side that I frequently put myself down f in the past and was like, oh, you're not good enough. Oh, this, that, and the next thing, which is apparently also an ADHD problem. But the more you know, the more you can overcome. So, <laughs> yes. Um, I started streaming. I am now a live streamer, co-streamer, uh, with my hubby, uh, Matthew McKay, and... We are having a freaking blast. The community is absolutely fantastic. Tons and tons of neurodiverse people. And we literally just, we come, we vibe together. We, we relax, we chill out, we laugh all the time. Like we're kind of, I don't know, we, we're, we're, we're fun, we're silly. And then sometimes we'll get really serious and really deep, but it's like at the end of the day, we can all go to bed feeling a little bit better um, about our day, about our lives, um, and about ourselves. Like, I think learning to accept myself this year has been like the most transformative, um, you know? And I'm really happy for, for this year. It hasn't been an easy year. Um, I'm not expecting next year to be any easier but I do expect it to be kind of amazing, kind of, kind of like, <laughs> just the fact that, that we can, we can get up and figure out ways to go do what we want in life, you know, like, I really do believe that everyone at some point can be doing what they want to be doing in life. I think it just takes determination and continuing to look for answers. You know, it might be looking for answers to why you're struggling. It could be looking for an answers to how you can achieve what you want in life. It could be so, so many different things, but like, I feel like every year, as long as we keep trying, keep getting back up, keep going, um, I think we can have an amazing year, despite anything else that could be happening in the world. I think that you, you can have a better year next year. I really believe that. So if you want to come and talk with us tonight live, head on over to McKay's Play on Twitch. Um, there are links down below. I will link everything that I mentioned down below. Um, I might even throw in some bonus stuff uh, that I just might be helpful in general. Um, yeah, have a wonderful, blessed year. I hope your year is phenomenal. I hope that you seek out what you want in life. I hope that you determine what you want, decide what you want, and go for it. Go for it with gusto. All right, guys, and there will be more Lego later this year too. Don't worry, don't worry, there'll be Lego. All right, guys, bye!